You made the right decision to tune in to the best show during the week, midway through the weekend. We are back live in effect here at Geek League Studios here in Dallas, Texas, and it is Spot On Sports. What is going on, everybody? We appreciate you for tuning in to the best show that is sweeping the nation. And of course, I am here, your host, Tony Monk, with the best. That is Brandon Walker, be our host of the Walker Review. World. And right there, that guy in the white, that is Bruce E. Bruce Taylor, hey, host. Hey, say. Spot on Sports Radio on the KKEIFM Radio. Man, uh, all this uh, stuff has calmed down now. We're finally back in the studio. The NFL draft came and went. I was kind of pissed. You missed out, dog. I was at work. Like, I literally was at work watching the draft via phone. I saw y'all, like, literally. Yeah. If y'all saw some of my comments, I put it on spot. Yeah, Brio, Brio left me some, uh... What did you uh, say? I didn't, I didn't get to read. Some, I didn't bold, say anything. He gave me some vulgar things in our DM. <laughs> I left him the bird. I'm just yeah, letting yeah, him yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, the yeah, bird. That's how <laughs> upset I was. But you guys did your it thing. Was, it was a great experience, man. I feel like, um, it was a, a nice ethnic mix. I missed you, though. I, I, Variety. I got uh, a spicy bratwurst, a shot of uh, red label whiskey. And also Coors Light and some chicken. That he was wired on the draft. Speaking of the draft, the NFL draft yeah, has come and gone, and, uh, as well as the amazing mm-hmm. moments from the first pick of the Browns selecting Baker Mayfield to the Ravens selecting mm-hmm. Lamar Jackson. Mm-hmm. Lamar! Well as other uh, yeah. heartfelt moments that went on during the course of the draft. Heartfelt. Man, that's Shaquille, 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 Shaquille Griffin, dog. One hand yeah. One hand bandit. Oh, that was pretty emotional. You yeah, with his brother, but they're twins. Like, they didn't know he was getting drafted. But right now, we'll get into the winners and the losers yeah. 2018 NFL Draft. Bruce, I'll start with you. Who got the best pick? Um, I would like to say that the Giants had, to me, had the best, Facts. a solid draft. Mm-hmm. Um, when you when you team up a guy like Saquon Barkley with the likes of uh, Odell Beckham, and you're taking pressure off of uh, elite, you know, not so much elite anymore, but a veteran quarterback, and Eli Manning, mm-hmm. you put a dynamic running back, and then to open up the hole for him, you have Will Hernandez, mm-hmm. the best running blocking lineman in this draft. Very graded awesome. anyway, graded wise. Um, so I think those top two picks right there, it automatically changed the culture of the offense. You turn into a more of a run heavy sided team, or and also you have a, a running back who can help you out of the backfield and pass protection, and also just doing little screens and whatnot. Now, we're going, we're going worse right now or we're going best? Oh, we're we'll rolling back around. Worse. Okay, that's cool. Let's take a shot at it. Um, I agree with Bruce as well. Giants really made some outstanding changes to their offense with the addition of Barkley as well as mm-hmm. Hernandez. On the defensive side, adding uh, Lorenzo Carter from Georgia, yes. B.J. Hill from yes. NC State. Yes. That defense is going to continue to get better. But honestly, my team going solely off of the draft, I like what the Ravens did. Yeah. Ravens made some very productive <coughs> moves. So picking up Hayden Hurst, actually yeah. two tight ends, Hayden Hurst and Mark Andrews. Mm-hmm. Joe Flacco, a lot of his uh, throws were going to tight ends. Benjamin Watson really had a terrific season last year. Yeah. But they understand they have to get more downfield with their receivers and they can't be so adequate to the check downs. But also, I'm excited to see because Lamar Jackson is not just going to sit on the bench. He's going to actually be utilized in some way, some form. We'll and honestly, they could probably be getting prepared to remove or get somebody to get Joe Flacco out of there because I've kind of been seeing a reduction in his play over the last yeah. couple of years. Ever since he got that big contract for the yeah, Super Bowl, it's, it's been kind of regressing. That's true. And they actually added some offensive line help, Orlando Brown, even though he didn't do well at the combine. Oh, yeah, but his pops is a, is, a, is a product of the Ravens. So exactly. Right. So the thing is, Ozzie Newsom, this is his last, last draft. Season. So he went out with a bang. They yeah. also picked out a corner from Bama. So you yeah. guys know about those Bama boys. They they come in a fair race. I, to be honest, not to be Homer, but to say who had another solid drafting, mm-hmm. the Cowboys. It, it wasn't it wasn't pretty. I knew C plus. It wasn't pretty, but look look. Let's be honest. You pick up. On your draft board, what mm-hmm. you graded your what you what you graded your players on, mm-hmm. people say, well, why didn't you jump up and go get Derwin? Well, we yeah. didn't need to jump up. No, we didn't. Well, what are we giving up? See, I feel like when a team and it was a team this year that did move up one spot but gave up a ton of things. That's true. There's no need to do that. We gonna play patient. We got a linebacker that fits the defense. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, he's Brian Erlacher. Second round guy, you got Connor Williams. 
He is a first I like round. That he is a first round brain. Our, our line will be now called the Great Wall Thank of Dallas. You. So now you plug in a guy like Connor mm-hmm. Williams who can rush, who can run, run block and pass block, making a more stable line. Mm-hmm. Now look, if you pick up a wide receiver from Colorado State, mm-hmm. I know we don't know a lot about that division. True, the guy caught 100 plus miles in the last two seasons. He was, he was, he was actually in the first team in that conference for the last two years. So that means his production yes, was that definitely means there. He's catching, he's catching anything, man. Yes, that means. So I feel like Stephen Jones and Will McCann. I feel like th- these guys really did a, a. It was a solid overall mm-hmm. draft. We don't like it because it wasn't flashy. Flashy, yeah. But. We got things, and we got better, we got more depth. And I think it was good. I would agree with that because just being in Dallas, we're used to the flash. We're yeah. used to us picking up T.O. and signing the you big know. deals. But you guys have to understand that the, draft, the Cowboys have been drafting terrifically for the last – ever since Will has yeah. been here, yeah. our drafts have been terrific. We've picked up gems. Honestly, I'm going to say it like this. Some people don't understand the value of our last pick, Bo Scobrall. I don't know if you guys saw Alabama, but you guys have to understand. Yeah. When you guys have to deal with tackling Zeke, play after play after play, and then once he gets gas, you're coming with the same form and same running body type in a boat. Yeah. Do you understand how much that wear defensive uh, defense is down? And then just look at our offensive line. Yeah. We were kind of weak at the guard position ever since we lost Ronald Leary. Yeah. That's now depleted. Yeah. You have solid offensive line help from Tyron Smith, all the way to Lyle Collins, fitting in with the middle with Zach Martin, Connor, and then you have Frederick. And so, and, and, from and, Stanford too. and speaking of and speaking of Bama and Bo Scarborough, uh, honestly, I like what the Titans did defensively in the draft. Mm-hmm. They went yeah. and they got Rashawn Evans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We still sitting we on the board. We could have got Rashawn. And, yeah, yeah, and the Cowboys they passed on the Titans when they yeah. they made use of their. They, they passed on Rashawn because Rashad, uh, Vander Edge is more of a cover. Linebacker, and you need your middle linebacker not only to be able to right. survey the scene, but yeah. at the same time cover. They, and it's crazy. They kind of consider him like a Rolando McClain. Yeah. And when yeah. Rolando McClain was here, he had 100-plus tackles. Yeah. And he I was like able Rolando. to catch up. Like and, and, and speaking of that, what did they do in, in the early of the second round? They got one of the best pure pass rushers mm-hmm. in the draft. They went and got Harold Landry. Mike Ray was already doing it. Exactly. So uh, oh, I think man. the Titans. Now, I would like to see go more offensively. Uh, with guys like Calvin Ridley falling, you know, down in the draft and DJ yeah, Moore, yeah, I thought uh, some help for Marcus Mariota would have been good. Yeah. But I like what they did defensively because they may know where their offense is, and we know they're more of a running team. Yeah. Uh, I'll go double time. Bruce, I know you always get on me about it. But, hey, I do like what the Browns did. They shocked everyone and got Baker Mayfield. Yeah, and then, and, right. right. And then, but the big thing was – there's so much thing about taking taking a running back, especially at the number one pick or somewhere in the top five. But what did yeah. they do? They went and got one of the best backs, especially in the nation a couple of years back with Nick Chubb. I do now. I, let me tell you something. I do like the. I, I think that the Browns are building a good team. They are. Will I don't know how soon the the success will show. Mm-hmm. But I, I'm not gonna. I like Baker Mayfield as a leader. Right. Yeah. I like him. You can't you can't deny the kid Nick Chubb. Solid kid, man. Mm-hmm. Four year starter, had a couple injuries. I mean, but look, the guy's a solid guy. You talking about a stand up guy outside the locker room, yeah. not getting in trouble? Nick Chubb, man. So, definitely. I, I really think they're building a team that we we I have mean, to see. No they, time to the season starts. They, they mm-hmm. have, let me tell you something about the Browns, man. It's, I don't, they have a hard division, bro. Right. They you have to play the Steelers, the, the Ravens, and you got to play the Bengals. I feel like, and this is my testament, I feel like the Bengals will probably have an off season because Andy Dalton hasn't been able to cut it um, since he's honestly been there. I think they've been to the playoffs once since he's been the starter, maybe no, twice. No, no. no, they've been in the last five years. And speaking of, except for, except for yeah, last year. Speaking of Daniel, let's get into the losers of the draft. Who made the worst piece? Who could have done something better, better than what they actually did? Uh, you want to go ahead and I'm going straight into it. Uh, I honestly believe the Browns could have definitely done <laughs> more. I'm saying it like this. Oh, I'm saying, and I'm going to go by peak by peak. The last time they picked a quarterback in a cornerback in the first round when they picked up Johnny Menzel from AM and m and Justin yeah. Gilbert from Oklahoma State. How'd that turn out? Where are they at? But I don't think I don't, I don't think Baker's is Johnny. I'm not, I'm not I'm not I'm not equating him to that. I, I agree with the Baker pick. Yeah. Because people will say he's not the best quarterback. Honestly, I see it all. You yeah. you trying to pick Rosen in that spot was never gonna work. Or Sam Donald, because yeah. you know why? Baker fits the mold of what they want to do in an offense. That's they right. have the same uh, uh, athletic build and ability as Tyrod Taylor. Now Tyrod Taylor is not much of a rusher, so is Baker Mayfield, but at the same time they can both extend plays. 
they are similar into stature. But the one thing I will say with their fourth pick, instead of picking Denzel Ward, where you could have had two chubs, <laughs> you could have had Bradley, and you could have had Nick. Like, are you seeing like Miles Garrett with Bradley Chubb on the other side? That's scary. I mean, you, when you got it, when you when you lose when you lose um. Uh, Joe Hayden at cornerback. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have to solidify the back end again, man. Again, I think that, I think you, that what uh, when Tyshawn Gibson going to the Jacksonville Jaguars a couple of seasons ago, you know, you don't have the same leadership you have back there. So I can see why you do it to get mm -hmm. and when you look at what happened last year, who was the rookie of the year? Lattimore, Lattimore. cornerback, Ohio State. I can see you doing it. Understand, understand even in that draft, I don't think I think it was my Lattimore the first corner taken in last year's draft. He may have been. It was the first corner. Taken. I think he okay. I think it, okay. you know, okay. but he just fell a little bit because I know New Orleans didn't take the top five. This this is who I feel like had the worst draft. Uh, I I didn't like. This is not my pick, but I didn't like what the Saints did. They they moved up one side yeah. to pick up uh, uh, Davenport from yeah. UTSA. Now, I'm not like Davenport, but I feel like that was an awkward move. It was a stretch. You, you, reach, stretch. you reach for him, he could have he would have been there mm. at the next pick. I don't think you should have did that. But the team I think that had the worst draft. What what were the Oakland Raiders doing? What 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 was John the first time? Hey, what was, what was John? Oh, he couldn't have slept. Wait, I mean, wait, it's been 10 years. Wait, 15, you take, what was it, Colombo? Colton, Colton Miller. Colton Miller? Mm -hmm. UCLA. Really? Huh? Where, where 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 was that on the draft? This is this what, is where what, I'm gonna I'm, the only thing I'm gonna take up for John Green, because there's a lot of picks I was questionable about, especially Colton. But there's two picks that I understand why he did it because he's recreating that Tampa defense. Okay, tell me about it. They picked the D tackle. Okay. That is like a Tasmanian devil. And then they backdoored that. And honestly, I was upset the Cowboys never picked him. In the fifth round, Maurice Hurst. Well, you he know what? fell because of a heart condition, yeah. honestly. You have those two guys in the center of your defense That's pushing true. the center and, the, and both guards back to the quarterback. That's true. That can create some things going he for the first round talent. And exactly. I, and I like that thought. We're going to speak it up. We'll get into our next segment. Let's issue out some early rookie awards. We look at which of the draftees have the best chance to nab an accolade by season's end. We know how it goes. Mm -hmm. Offensive rookie of the year, defensive rookie of the year, overall rookie of the year. Uh, go ahead and continue. Uh, he was kind of getting in on the Raiders. So, so, yeah, the Raiders ain't going to be in this conversation <laughs> for winners, either offensively or defensively. I just hope John Gruden can put that team together. He made a good trade with Martavius Bronze, so I think their receiving core is going to be pretty legit. Yeah, I like this pickup. I like it. But on the offensive side, I have two players. One, Saquon Barkley. Two, Josh Rosen. Josh Rosen has a legit chance to play a lot this season because of Sam Bradford and his injury prone. And honestly, he's the most... Beneficial quarterback that's able to come into this league and actually produce now. Baker Mayfield could come in, but at the same time, they're going to let Tyrod Taylor drive this car until he actually runs it off into a ditch. But Josh Rosen could actually come into the Arizona D offense and really make some progress on how he plays and the way he can move the offense. Uh, on the defensive side, I'm going Bradley Chubb, man. I honestly believe with Von Miller learning his tactics, Denver's front four, or I could say both edges, are going to be very scary because one thing you can't really teach is motor. And when you go to somebody who has an unstoppable motor, then it only makes your defense better. So I'm going with Bradley Chubb on the side with defense. Okay, well, I'm going to go uh, I'm gonna go running back, of course. Uh, I'm going to go either Sonny Michelle or Nick Chubb. I like That's a hot take for Sonny. Mm -hmm. I like Sonny Michelle. It, you know, this is the only thing about the rookies, man. It's, it's the rigorous season. They probably mm -hmm. have to get used to, to the bigger, faster yeah, players. They have an easy chance to get it. They, but the thing is, Michelle, but I'm sorry, but Sonny Michelle, it's a lot. They have, still have, like, Rex Burkhead. They, they signed Jeremy Hill from the Bengals. Like, they have a lot of running backs in the stable. Like, yeah, I, want him, I, I do want him to break I, out. I, I just, you know, I think more of in a Camaro role, you know, True. coming in for splat. That's if he gets a chance and if you, if we think the Browns are who they will be, mm -hmm. I think Nick Chubb will be a big attribute when it comes to the running game. So I, I but we can't forget, because I, I had to kind of go back and do my research too, the Browns signed Carlos Hyde. They did. But at the same time, it's not going to take away from so much from Nick Chubb, because right. he's a different kind you know of I mean, runner. Was 800 yards for a rookie man rushing, you know, you just got five or six touchdowns. That's cool. So, mm -hmm. If I can see those and then on defense, um, let's say I, I'm gonna go Derwin James. Mm -hmm. And if not Derwin, um, I think I like I really like the Dab. Even though I didn't like them moving up to get him, I like Davenport. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You're in the NFC South with a, 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 a lot of throwing teams. Mm-hmm. Matt Ryan just signed an extension, so you know he's going to throw the pill all over the field. Um, you play against Cam Newton, who's in a shotgun all day. And you play against um, James Winston. Yep. So I think he'll have a lot of opportunities, especially with um, – with, Cam- with Cameron Jordan on the other side, True. I think Davenport had a lot of opportunities to, to get his shine on. I, I say get by 10 sacks, not the 10 sacks he should. Be well, I roll with you, man, with the Josh Rosen thing. I think he's probably mm-hmm. in the best position. You got you got veteran guys out there in Arizona. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got a really veteran team. Got a veteran and team. David Johnson yeah. is back. That's and the David thing that people don't, don't talk about. And it's going to make Josh Rosen's life that much easier. And what's so good about Josh yep. Rosen? Like his IQ, mm-hmm. smart kid yep. out there uh, running that West Coast offense. So when we're looking at Josh Rosen, like mm-hmm. I said, it's just a better position right now. I, right. And I wanted to kind of name a guy like Sam Donald, but the weapons in New York kind of scared. Me, yep. So I don't really want to go with that. Uh, defense side of the ball, I'll be direct. I'll go Roquan Smith. You got a guy that can go east and west, north and south. Yep. Uh, one of I like it's a better deal with the draft. They right, yeah. Pieces for and, yeah and so, and you know, it's just a guy, he, he'll get a lot of tackles. Yep. He's a headhunter. He'll yep. be, he, he can play the pass. That's what's even better about him. Like I said, yep. he was clearly the best linebacker in this draft. And it wasn't even close. This is a place partner that went to the Giants. And I think with Ogletree, a veteran there, mm-hmm. he may, he may. Have have uh, you know you're in a deep uh, no, a division in the East in the NFC East where you'll get a chance to tackle a lot. Z, okay. you have the Eagles, so mm-hmm. look out for the guy. Uh, Redskins also drafted uh, Darius Geis, so they have mm-hmm. a, a yeah, running back. I, 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 like look out for I do like Darius Geis. It's just man, it's it's hard to see these guys, especially with injuries. Like these like guys are so true. young. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, Kamara was, I knew about Kamara's talent, but to say that, hey, that was a great fit for the He Saints. turned out as an actual champ, though. He yeah. was drafted in the The way he was utilized, because if he wouldn't have went to any other team, right. I don't think they would have utilized and that's, him. And that's the thing why we have to say, there's probably some other guys that, that got picked up in the third or fourth round mm-hmm. that went to a good system. We just don't know they fit it yet until they get the plan. We'll see in preseason. We'll see. I like it, guys. I like, I like the whole draft thing. Everything worked out well. Uh, so we'll see who gets all these accolades yeah. and uh, we'll see what happens with draft these as the season begins to roll around and all these preseason. So this is Spot on Sports, guys. Stay tuned and keep it locked in.